Alrighty guys, so right now it is 67 degrees outside with 76% humidity and a 59 degree dew point. And inside my office it is 66 degrees and 48% humidity, which is kind of high. Um, this morning when I got in here it was a uh, 55% as you can see. So I had to do something about it. I couldn't run the frigid air by itself because it would get unbearably cold in here. So here's what I've done. It's called uh, reheat, dehumidification. Alright, this here is a little old cheap comfort zone electric heater. And mind you, it's, it's June 15th, I believe. And it's weird weather right now. It's on low, and it is slinging out heat. I cannot run it on high. This is like 750 watts, because if I run it on high, I'll dim lights and pop breakers, and I don't want that to happen. But it's blowing out some heat, and it's directly across from the frigid air. So here's the frigid air, and it is cold and dry coming out of there, but it's comfortable in this room because I can feel the heat that it's pulling in from the heater over there. So reheat dehumidification basically is there's a heat source inside this building because it's mild outside. There's no solar gain or no heat load on the building so I cannot run the AC alone or it will get too cold in here and the air would just shut off and the humidity would continue to rise because it's so humid outside. So the heater is providing a heat source which basically heats up the inside of the building and it puts a load on the air conditioner so it will dehumidify and cool the building to whatever temperature I want it. And the temperature will go up or stay the same. Right now it's fine. But as you see the humidity is dropping steadily which is a good sign. So anyways, hope you all learned something today about reheat dehumidification. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below. As always, see you in the next video. Bye for now.